I appreciate everybody joining. I don't want to PowerPoint you to death today by any means. I'm more of a, a whiteboard guy. Um, been with Citrix for about nine years, just a little bit about me. Been with Citrix for about nine years. I was a consultant for quite a number of years with our consulting group. Then I was a sales engineer as well. And now I'm a full-fledged salesperson. I reside in Orlando, so I cover North Florida uh, for Citrix. And I, I work quite a bit with Citrix. So appreciate the opportunity to come in and, and speak to everyone today. Um, we, we have a few slides to go through. So a little bit of a whiteboard turned into a presentation. And then uh, I want to show you a demo, because I think uh, doing demos with our products will really give you a better sense of what they are. And uh, we'll go jump right into it. But uh, So the Transform Windows Desktop Computing is kind of our, our mantra right now, giving you different ways to deliver desktops to all your users. And, and the new releases in Desktop 5 that came out last month really has kind of transformed things and made our Zen desktop product even better than it was before. So jump right into it here. Maybe. OK. Um, so here's kind of what we've seen in the industry of why customers are starting to look at desktop virtualization and desktop virtualization projects. The CIOs and executives are starting to think about these things, and, and their climate is changing. No longer is that the user is just in the office and working nine to five. They've got a lot of other other initiatives that they have to support, and you can see this is what's kind of keeping CIOs up at night, making sure that they can enable these business functions and, and projects while reducing costs, reducing uh, security risks and increasing mobility and expansion and flexibility. So why go virtual? And that's really kind of the crux of this whole presentation. What can it do for you? Um, the enable work, virtual work styles is becoming fairly popular with mobile computing, users working from home, working at the hotel, all that good stuff. Uh, the next one, leverage latest mobile devices. The iPad has really kind of pushed this along whether you and IT really want it or not. I know executives, all the customers that I work with, executives are coming to them, doctors, physicians, you name it. They're saying, hey, I bought an iPad. This is a cool little toy I've got. I want to get to all my applications on this. I don't want a PC anymore. So Zen Desktop is a great way to enable that and, and to give that to your executives to enable them to work. Uh, business change and then transform desktop computing. All our initiatives that are, are you know, go by going virtual desktops, you can enable all these types of solutions. So this is when I kind of adapted a whiteboard presentation that I, I typically do to the PowerPoint. So it's a little fuzzy, I apologize, but the best I could do. So typically the trends on the drivers, this goes right into the, the previous point. These are the things that we keep seeing. Flexibility, productivity, security, mobility, those are all increasing that the CIO and executives want. But on the bottom line there, you see we all want to decrease costs as well. Those kind of don't go hand in hand. So these are the things that are driving most of these projects. Then we jump to. Let's kind of level set, and the way we want to kind of start thinking about desktop virtualization in different terms, because we're definitely changing the way PCs are managed, the way computing is done. Let's think of it in a different way, in a different light. So let, these are kind of the terms that we're changing from the traditional model over to the virtual world. So devices no longer are physical. They're virtual, and they're services in your environment. So you provide a desktop as a service to your users instead of taking a desktop or a laptop, giving it to them at their desk, or handing it to them and saying, "There, off you go. So on-site versus online, no longer do you have to be just in the office to get things done, as long as you're connected. And we'll get into that a little bit. Even if you're not connected, we have a desktop virtualization solution as well for that. So no longer do we install things, we enable on-demand access, and then instead of distributed computing, it's follow me wherever I go. 
really kind of a different mindset. We'll kind of enable that, or we'll talk about that a little bit further as we go. So Zen Desktop. Some of you on the phone might be familiar with Zen Desktop in the past. Some of them might be a, a new concept to you. So I'll try to hit on both. So the key to Zen Desktop, is, and I think what really differentiates, differentiates us in the market, is our ability to be flexible and deliver multiple types of desktops. Now, this is a very, very key point, that if you look at your user community, whether you're a small organization or a large, you all your users don't do the same thing. Every user or group of users does a different task within the organization. And, and it, it runs the gamut. And you can see that we've got different user communities that we have to cater to their needs. So you can't go out and say, you know what, we're going to just give, deliver desktop virtualization and it's a one size fits all. Everybody's going to get the same solution. You have to go this route because that's definitely not the best way to approach this. So if you see here in the middle, we've got mobile users. They have certain requirements. And then we have remote users. Those might be um, some that are never in the office. They're vendors or they're um, outsourcing companies that, that you don't want to manage. You have to handle them differently. Guests, vendors coming in, consultants coming in, contractors, you're going to have to handle them a little bit differently as well. Then you have your office or knowledge workers. Those are your uh, a big bulk of most organizations' users. And then on the right, we have task users. So segmenting your user community is very important when you start down the path of a desktop virtualization project to ensure that you are delivering the right desktop for the right user. And there are pros and cons to each approach. There's cost implications. There's support implications. So you want, don't want to just say, this is a cookie cutter approach to desktop virtualization for every user. You want to segment them very, very importantly, understand their business requirements. What applications do they use? How do they use them? What desktop do they need? What do they need to do their job? And, and what do we need to give them in order to be productive? Once you define those requirements, which is not an easy ende endeavor by any means, but once you do that and plan this out accordingly, you'll see Zen Desktop gives you all the tools that you need to deliver the different types of desktop. So I, I like to equate Zen Desktop as, as a toolbox. So you're, you're a carpenter or a contractor. You've got a toolbox that includes a hammer, you know, saw, pliers, screwdriver, all these different tools for your everyday work environment. You select the right tool for the job that you're, or the task at hand. You know, you select a hammer to, to nail in a, a nail. You wouldn't try to do that with a screwdriver if you didn't have to, right? So the same kind of um, philosophy works with the Zen Desktop solution. It comes with a lot of different technologies. You can deliver the different types of desktops for the different types of user based on what they need. So underneath there, you'll see some of the benefits of Zen Desktop. You know, any device, anywhere. This goes back to our whole supporting iPads, supporting iPhones. Whatever Apple's going to come out with next, we're going to be able to support those. Google, Microsoft, BlackBerry, tablets, thin clients, it doesn't matter. Chances are we have a Citrix client or Citrix receiver for that device and operating system to ensure that the users have a consistent experience no matter what device they come from. Now, HDX user experience, that's high-definition user experience. That really goes to all a lot of benefits that we've done throughout the 20 years of Citrix, developing and, and optimizing.